hello guys welcome back i'll be introducing to you my mock-up transition packs which allows you to transit between your designs or between um color of a particular um designs and on screen right now you can see is the um t-shirt um transition um pack so let's move on to the content of this um pack so i'll be going to the folder so when you purchase this pack these are the um things you um find inside you find a clue 3d design of this t-shirt with some alembic file of this um t-shirt design um the tutorial link will be in the description box on how to use this um alembic file but let's move to the main part of this um pack we have the texture one texture two texture three texture four these are the four textures that are contained in this um pack so and it is editable on photoshop so when you edit it on photoshop and you save it it will reflect on um blender so let's go back to blender and let's begin the tutorial on how to use the pack so first of all i'm going to be providing an add-on you will need an add-on for this um in this pack sorry so when you go to file the add-on will be available in the um in the um pack too so um and it's going to be um three point there will be the three point version and the 4.2 version so if you are using blender 4.2 just install the add-on of the add-on version of the 4.2 and if you're using 3 point install the add-on version of the um 3 point so um we'll go to sorry edit we're going to go to preference we're going to go to um where is add-on sorry so this is add-on here and the name of the add-on is um texture transition sorry texture so this is the material um texture transition so it is easy when you the zip file don't unzip the file so just ins install it together as a zip file so when you click on install locate where the add-on is on your um system i'm coming so this is my own um so this is my document then when i go to blender library let me modify it by name so i can get what i'm looking for so this is my blender library and these are my add-ons so and the texture transition is here so this is it this is the 4.2 and this is the 3.6 but then i'm using blender 4.2 in this tutorial so this is the um, zip file that i installed so when you just select it just install the add-on sorry just install the add-on and then you are good to go um let's go back to um, blender to the next part so i'm going to quit this okay so this is it when i drag it you will see the transition so the empty that is moving on screen right now is the control to this particular transition and this is it here i'll probably be turning off when you purchase the pack to avoid any mistake in deleting this um, control the transition effect will still take place without the empty so this is it here and this is it and this is it and this is it as we move on so now let's um go back to um shading now so this is shading oh, come on, let me scroll back a bit so this is the fourth texture here one two um three and this is the fourth one so this is it but you don't need to touch all these texture um boxes or nodes the only thing you might need to adjust is just the um let's go to i'm going to go to a one aspect of the transition so that you can see what i'm trying to see so when the design is transiting you can change the color of the um transiting um effect that's the glowing effect of the transition and the um you can also adjust the scale so i'm coming let me um, explain better so let me bring in the shader in here i'm coming so let's drag this off yes so in this i need to bring the timeline sorry not the shader the where is it so this is the timeline let us bring the timeline in here and uh, let us adjust it a bit coming so now this uh let's this is what i'm trying to explain so um sorry so this is it here this is the um emission effect and this is the color here so you can always change the color at this stage and i think this is the last part of the transition so this is it here so if i change it to red yeah you can see the effect is, or let me change it to pink so that the effect can the obvious okay i don't know if you are seeing it. yeah i'm sure you can see the effect here so this is it 
and you can also strengthen the um the emission part or you can reduce it so all you need to do is just play around this um figure see when the zero is not showing again so you can just always play around with it or let's type like let me put like um 150 so this is it then the detail see it you can see the effect yeah this is it so you can play around this and i think this again too so this is it and this is it so what i'm doing right now presently is something you can do for all other um transition um nodes this is the first transition this is second tra no this is the last transition node this is the second and this is them the first one so this is what you can do here and the next part again we are going to do is the photoshop part so <clears throat> make sure you open all your designs on um photoshop make sure you open all your designs on photoshop so um this is texture one sorry this is where's texture one this texture one this is texture two texture three and this is texture four so let's assume i, I want to um delete this so I, let me try to delete all this here on screen i have to delete this so when, when you delete make sure you save any texture you delete or add something to make sure you save it you can place your design in, in this box and this is the um just call this is the label in case you are placing anything here so just turn it off um you can do the same for others so also the same so when i delete this um rihanna um cartoon so um let's do this so you can just save it then delete all these graphics in front if i delete this blender graphics or i turn it off anyone can turn it off or delete then i do the same thing for mc am i done yeah. okay. i've deleted the fourth one so let me bring it back here so texture three this is texture three this is open so uh let me just turn this off okay 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 so when i turn this off let me save it so now what you need to do now is to reload it on cycles so let's go back to cycles and by the time it's finished um, loading on cycle you can see the graphics in front has disappeared so if you decide to add any graphics again you just go back to this and reload cycles again then you see what you are looking for there you don't need to forget about what you are seeing here the main um the main um, render is from the cycles um, engine so this is just how you can use the uh, mock-up transition part so we have the walking and also the um, t-shirt so depending on your choice depending on your choice you might want the um okay i'm coming let me do just this back yes um, okay yes so um depending on your choice you might want this um t-shirt to work in 360 and the duration of this um, animation is about 11 to 12 seconds and in this process three transition is going to take place in 11 to um 12 se seconds so this is it you have the walking and then you can turn it off and open the this is the um just the static this is static but then you can make it rotate in 360 if you want to so i'll make it available in i'll make it available for rotation in 360 this static um design and then you can decide to delete the keyframe here so you just select and delete it if you don't need it to rotate you can always delete the keyframe so um let's move to another aspect of this um i'm coming so this is render this is cycles here and this is another aspect so this is resolution depending on what you want to use it for instagram post is 1080 by 1080 um this is your camera here so let's just set the camera so select this to set your um camera so here we have the instagram views or the tiktok views um um camera size or video um 
size so this is it here and um i'm coming sorry so when i select n view i'm going to so but then i will turn this marked on in the um, file so you can be able to like drag so you can drag in case you want to set your camera this is it you can set your camera by dragging this and this is fine you are okay with it just leave it and you can zoom you can select this and plus uh, with this microscope icon this so just um let's click on it hold on it then drag your mouse forward and um backward so this is it here so the next part is uh okay yeah we still have more to talk about um this is the folder yeah this folder is where you want your um your sequence of your um animation to be saved so this is it so this is where this is the file part of where you want to save your animation um sequence you get so this is my animation sequence here about 370 animation sequence so this is it as you can see so when you want to save your file so um i think um that is oh, okay also we have the lightning too so um if you've purchased one of my pack or watch any of my tutorial video you will see we have the lightning one this is one i think this is um two there's the light in front so let me open blender let me open cycle sorry so this is cycles uh and this is the lightning one i think it's one this is two and the third, third one is the one in front here so you can always adjust the um the power so you can make it five to see um this thing see so so you can always adjust it to satisfy your own taste so and this is the background here um the background this is the um material so when you select the background this background or you can find it in um collection so this is the background here so go to the material select this and you can change the color to red or you can change the color to green depending on your um choice so this is it here so um also you might want to ask a question if you can render in a transparent background yes it's possible to render in a transparent background so it is very very easy first of all you have to turn off this turn off your um background this is the turn of this then the next thing you need to do is to go to uh come yeah this is it you need to go to this um render then you scroll down look for film this is film when you look for film you turn on transparent so you can see this is transparent like this so this is transparent um what you do next again is to go to where you want to render so make sure you are um your sequence is in png you get because png um accept transparent background so don't change it to jpeg i think png is just the best format to do this then you can drag it to your video timeline either on blender or premiere pro or any software you are using for this um for the editing then you can place any background you want so when you do like this when you are done with this you can just decide to render as image or as um, video you get so you can render as image or as video so rendering as image is um f12 and then um, rendering as video is control f12 or you can just do it manually here. render render animation or render image so when you render image you should see uh, its display here so let's render image here i'm sure it's going to start it's going to render from okay from 291 so this is it so let's wait for it to load as you can see this is it on um screen right now so this is the um rendering So this is it then you can decide to like save it so this is image we have image here. i'm coming ready for it so okay when it's done rendering 58 of 64 let's wait for it so now that it has finished rendering you can go to image you can go to save us when you go to save us you can save it anywhere you want to save it on your um system and that is all so i think that is just all about this um transition pack so for the other aspect of this pack which is the clo 3d uh, which has this which you have a design a design t-shirt in clo 3d um format all you need to do is just place your graphic the tutorial is in the description box so if you purchase this um transition pack thank you very much 
so and if you have any question you can always send me a mail or um, text me on ig about any issue you are facing in any of this pack and i'll be and i'll respond to you as soon as um, possible so thank you for watching this video don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more tutorials from me